in a bustling town, nestled between rolling hills and whispering forests, there stood a quaint little shop with a weathered sign that read, The Wishing Shop. It was a place of magic and mystery, where dreams could come true for those brave enough to seek them. Inside the shop, shelves were lined with jars of glittering dust and sparkling trinkets, each whispering promises of wishes fulfilled. At the counter stood an old woman with twinkling eyes and a knowing smile, the keeper of the wishing shop. Every night, as the moon rose high in the sky and stars twinkled overhead, the wishing shop would open its doors to those seeking their heart's desire. But there was a catch. In exchange for their wish, each person had to offer something precious in return. One night, a curious young girl named Rosie stumbled upon the wishing shop as she wandered through the town square. Intrigued by the shimmering lights and whispers of magic, she pushed open the creaky door and stepped inside. The old woman behind the counter smiled warmly at Rosie. Welcome, dear child, to the wishing shop. What is it that you desire? Rosie hesitated for a moment, her mind racing with possibilities. Finally, she spoke in a soft voice. I wish for the ability to fly like a bird. The old woman nodded knowingly. Ah, a wonderful wish indeed. But remember, every wish comes with a price. What will you offer in exchange? Rosie thought long and hard, her heart pounding with uncertainty. Finally, she reached into her pocket and pulled out a small silver locket, the last keepsake from her beloved grandmother. This locket belonged to my grandmother, Rosie said, her voice trembling. It's the most precious thing I own, but if it means I can fly, then I'm willing to give it up. The old woman's eyes sparkled with admiration. Very well, dear child, your wish shall be granted. With a wave of her hand, the old woman sprinkled glittering dust over Rosie's outstretched arms. Instantly, Rosie felt a rush of wind beneath her feet as she soared into the air, her heart soaring with joy. For hours, Rosie danced among the clouds, her laughter echoing through the night sky. But as dawn approached, she knew it was time to return to the ground below. As she landed softly outside the wishing shop, the old woman appeared before her once more, a twinkle in her eye. You have shown great courage and kindness, dear Rosie, she said, and for that, I have a gift for you. With a flourish, the old woman handed Rosie a small vial filled with shimmering liquid the essence of her wish, distilled into a single drop. This potion will allow you to fly whenever you wish, the old woman explained. But remember, true magic lies not in the ability to fly, but in the love and bravery that reside within your heart. With a grateful smile, Rosie thanked the old woman and tucked the vial safely into her pocket. And as she skipped home through the awakening town, she knew that her adventure at the wishing shop would be a tale she would cherish forever. So, my dear, if you ever had a chance to visit the wishing shop, what would you wish? <laughs>